Hi, I'm Tony Cox. I'm the chair for the Roanoke County Complete Count Committee. And we will be talking about the importance of the census right now. Well, there's billions of dollars of federal funds that are distributed throughout the country. And every person who's counted will allocate funds for Roanoke County or for any location that you live in. So every person is, who's counted will um, be able to allocate $2,000 for, that's every year, for 10 years for a total of $20,000 for over the course of 10 years until the next census. Well, the census, like everything else, has been impacted by COVID. And in March, we had to shut down right before we were doing programs. We had programs scheduled for the libraries uh, to promote the census. The trainings for census workers have been impacted. It was uh, difficult to find locations to train folks. And um, so, but we, so, because of that, we've had a delay of two months, so now we have until the end of September to um, get everyone counted. The response rate is 77 percent, a little bit over. It goes up about a tenth of a percent every day. Every day I, I check to make sure that we're still making progress. And uh, we're right below where we were 10 years ago, so we need to, we're, our goal is 100 percent. So we have about 20 um, percent of the county has not responded. Okay, census workers will be coming to your door starting August the 11th if you have not responded. If you've responded, you should not get a census worker to your door. Um, and you'll get a postcard that reminds you to respond if you have not already done so. So they, they'll be coming to your door um, seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And they'll be following all the protocols for the COVID-19 safety measures. So the interviews will take place outside. If you'd rather have a phone interview, you can ask for a phone interview when the person comes to your door. Um, they'll have a logo on their laptop, they'll have a badge, um, you'll be able to identify them. They won't ask you any questions about your finances or your social security information, so if anybody asks you that, then that's, that's not a so census worker. You need to contact the authorities for that situation. So you have 13 languages that are, you can fill out the census in 13 different languages. If somebody comes to your door from the census and you, there's a language barrier, feel free to ask that. We have a process for getting the right person to co communicate with you so that you can respond, even if, you're, um, if you speak sign language. So thir over 13 languages. You can, uh, you can go to 2020census.gov and fill out the form online. You can call uh, the phone number, which I'm sure we can find and put that up on the screen for you. And um, you can also do it by mail. So if you get the postcard in your mailbox, you're, you're free to do it and fill out the paper form also. And you can call the public library, any library in your neighborhood, you can call them and ask them questions about the census as well. Well, Roanoke County is 47th in the country for the highest res responding counties. So we're doing really well and we, we've got two months. We can really bring it home and we can get all of the federal monies that we're entitled to. It also helps our representation in the uh, House of Representatives because everything is based on the census and the statistics. Um, no questions are shared with any law enforcement. It doesn't impact your um, benefits for the, from the government. It doesn't impact any of that. It's only used for statistics and the data is what brings businesses here and it helps, it helps your community. It's the quickest 10 minutes that you can spend. It, do, it doesn't ask you if you're a citizen. All, everyone who lives in the county is counted. It doesn't matter if they're a citizen or not. And so it's really, you can bring so much money into the community. It impacts um, if we get hospitals, schools, libraries, or fire and safety equipment. It really helps your community so much. So just during this time, especially when we're all pulling together, let's, let's bring it home and do the census here in Roanoke County.